Hello fellow blenderers, this is Peter here with PM Designs. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make this lovely, disgusting, slimy, organic, fleshy, whatever you want to call it, shader. So first I need something to add a shader to, so I'm just going to quickly make a nasty blob. Okay, so this is my nasty blob, all done, let's get on with the shader. I'm going to call this new material um, flesh, I don't know, whatever. First thing I'm going to do is do the kind of like baseline fleshy sliminess. Uh, which is just going to be a Voronoi texture, as, as usual, and a color ramp to control the color. And I just want to get the texture coordinate and mapping node. I'm going to set this to be the object here. Plug the distance, oops, sorry, distance into the factor of the color ramp and the color into the base color here. And now I just need to choose some kind of fleshy, you know, Kind of colors if you you know maybe you want to do this for like an alien look so you'd use different colors but i'm going to go with some sort of fleshy weird stuff um just some like pinks and just mess around with those in the slider until i get them maybe i want the purple over there a bit yeah something like that looks quite disgusting yeah that looks all right i'm going to tighten that up a little bit and so that's that done. Um, you can mess around with the scale as much as you want to get it where you want it to be. But I'm also for now just going to plug this into a bump node just to give it a bit of depth. Okay, so we start to get that. Um, bring the strength down a little bit. We want it to look slimy, so I'm going to bring the roughness pretty low for now. We can also kind of copy this um, to make to control the roughness so maybe we want the tops to be slimy and the bottom to not be so slimy so in which case i'll add another color amp i've got it on the favorites and i use the same texture here texture not texture plug that into the roughness and then i can just adjust the slider okay so those the pinky bits are slimy looking and the purple bits not so much this part is up to you if you want to do that or not yeah we can have them very slimy or just don't do this at all and you know adjust the roughness and the specular yourself however you want it to be okay so that's step one of that done i'm gonna mix this voronoi texture up a bit because i want some more some more stuff going on i'm gonna add a noise texture to that move these over a little bit and add in a mix rgb plug that in there plug the noise into the second value whoops sorry and just so I just want to see the noise first of all. So now I just bring that factor up and I can mess with the scale of this noise. So we get some nice something like that. And then I can adjust the factor accordingly, however you want it to be. If you want more Voronoi, you bring it right down there. If you just something like that. Just gets a bit of noise going on. I think that looks looks quite nice. Or well, it's a bit too let's bring the bump down a little bit. I need to plug the vector into the noise here. And what I can also do is control the sharpness of the noise by putting another color ramp in here. I highly recommend you put color ramp on favorites. That's my personal preference anyway. And then I can adjust this to get more sharpness on the noise, something like that. Bring that up a bit And there. Okay, that looks pretty disgusting at the moment. Looks like somebody half chewed a brain and then vomited it out um so that's the basics of like the fleshy bit you can you know feel free to toy around with those get them to whatever you want it to be maybe you want the chunks to be a bit smaller use the voronoi yeah that controls the chunky bits we can also add some subsurface scattering to this we can just use this color app plug that into the color and set my subsurf set my subsurface radius to about 0.1 should look quite nice so that is the start of our sliminess going on here okay so now i want to add some veins the veins are where it gets a little bit complicated so bear with me i'm just going to move this stuff up a little bit tidy that up a bit that is the blobbiness the the fleshy lumpy stuff now let's start to add some veins um again we're going to use a voronoi texture for this i'm going to bring up bring up a color amp i'm going to hide the, everything else for a moment i just want to see my new Voronoi texture. I'm going to add in a map range node. Plug that in here. OK, 
Okay, and I'm going to set this on smoother step. I'm going to change this to be distance to edge. Okay, so this is what we're going. To, this is how we're going to get the veins with this kind of with this black outline. So I'm just going to crunch these guys in a little bit tighter. Get more white in there. Something like that for now. Um, now I'm going to bring in a texture coordinate and mapping node for this one. I want to duplicate this. I want two Voronoi textures. Uh, they're going to be slightly different, but I want to duplicate this one. And if you don't know, if I want to keep it connected, just to save a bit of time, I can click this one, press Control, Shift, and D. And I duplicate that one, and it's still connected to the same mapping node, which I'm going to set to Object. Okay. I need another map range node, which is basically doing the same thing. So Shift and D, and I'm going to connect the second Voronoi texture to that one as well. So now I want to mix these two together before they enter the color. I'm going to add in a mix RGB node. Plug that in there. Connect this second one. Okay, and then I'm going to change this to lighten. All right. So then I can adjust the size of this one. I want this to be my second lot of um, sort of capillaries, maybe. And oh, don't forget to bring up your factor to 100% here. So let's just get this color amp set up. It doesn't look like much at the moment, but just keep going, keep pairing with me. I'm just going to move my texture coordinate out a little bit here, and I'm going to add in another mix RGB node. Plug that in there. I'm going to set this one to be linear light. Okay, and I'm going to add a noise texture, and this is going to um, basically mess up those straight lines, make them look a bit more like veins. And for that one, I'm going to plug the factor into the second color here. Okay, I also want the texture coordinate mapping node for noise texture, so I can set this one to be object as well. All right, so there we go. So now if I just bring this scale down a little bit, you'll see eventually, if I keep bringing it down, yeah, it's a little bit too low, something like that. What to do. I'm pretty happy with my scale there, but now I just need to adjust what I can do on the map range here. So the top texture, I want that to be my bigger vein. So I'm gonna set the from max to be zero. You see, we've got the veins there now. And, and the same on this bottom one. These are going to be the smaller veins to be zero. But also, I'm going to set the 2 max to be 0.5. And I'm going to set the minimum for both of these to be 0 0.05. Okay, so there you go. That's, that is how we get it going. All right, so. Those are, these are going to be the veins, so now it's down to you to play with the scale of your your sort of your arteries or your bigger veins, and then your capillaries down here. So I'm going to make the capillaries a lot smaller. But you want to watch out you don't get any circles in there because that looks a bit odd. Something like that, and then the scale of the bigger veins. I'll bring that up a little bit. Something like that, but then again, you want to make sure you don't get any kind of chunks, chunks of veins. But then maybe you maybe you want that, so do it however you like. But I'm going to go about there, bring my black a little bit, and now I'm going to set my color amp to B spline because now I get a bit more control and I can make those um, capillaries much tighter, much cleaner, crisper, and you can adjust that much as you want and so also the because we're using lighten the second layer is actually darker so when we plug that into a bump for instance the white bigger veins are going to be much sharper or much higher as it were and then the capillaries will be smaller lower but yeah i've still got some lumps over here so i'm just going to adjust my scale a bit on my bigger veins something like that should do okay so i'm just going to tidy this up a little bit okay so now we want to mix it all together yeah, so I'm going to add in a mix RGB just here. So that's intersecting now with my sort of fleshy color. Let's plug this one back in. Got my fleshy color, which is washed out at the moment because it's mixing with white. I'm going to um, duplicate this color ramp and keep it connected to my lighten. So just do that one, Control Shift and D. And now I'm going to give this like a, a ready, a, I don't know, a vein color. And a, I don't know, lighter red, something like that. And then I'm going to plug that into the second color here. Okay, 
and then I'm going to use this color ramp to plug into the factor. So I'm now also going to give these, I'm going to give the veins some bump. So come down here, I'm going to add in another bump node. So my first bump node has to go into the normal of this new bump node. And then I'm going to get the cut the, the black and white color ramp and plug that into the height of this new bump node. And that will give the vein some bump, hopefully. Yeah, like that. Lovely. Yeah, and if you think there are, I think that looks fine, but if, if you want to adjust the depth of the bump, you just use this strength one. But that actually, I think for me, that looks fine because I've set it on B spline, so it's much smoother. If I just change it back to um, linear for a moment, the, you see it's basically flat. It's up high, flat, and then down low, flat. So that's why we use B spline there. I'm not happy with these colors here, so I'm going to switch those around because I want the red to be on top. It's a little bit dark. Uh, let's just brighten that up a bit, something like that. And yeah, that is the vein texture, looks rather juicy. So that's the basis of the texture done. You, you know, these these two Voronoi textures are your veins up here, and then down here you got your Voronoi and your noise for your flesh. If you want to make the veins sort of less straight, but you know you don't want to go too crazy, you come back over here to your noise texture and adjust that scale. But you're going to end up getting some loops and circles and stuff, so I wouldn't take it too far. Personally, I think about 1.4 looks pretty good, or 1.5. I'm going to go, yeah, like that. You just you, The noise texture is just to distort the Voronoi slightly, because if you don't have that plugged in, you end up with pretty straight veins, which is quite unnatural. The last thing we want to do is for each for each of these um, for the, the fleshy part or for the veiny part we might want to add in some uh, displacement. Connect my color ramp here. I'm sorry. Connect this color ramp straight into the displacement over here, and I'm going to add in the middle add a displacement node. Pop that in there, and by default it will go down to the normal, but I want to just plug that into the height. Okay, you can't see anything at the moment because we're in, we're not in render view. And also, let me just go down here. Maybe you don't know about this. Come down to settings, and here in your sorry in your material shader, come down here to settings where it says displacement. You want to choose displacement and bump, or displacement only. But I've got bump, so I want both. Displacement and bump. Now I'm going to switch to cycles preview, and it's going to go insane, like that. Okay. So that's because of the scale here. So if I just bring that down to 0.1 for now, we're getting getting a bit closer. I can also add in a map node here to help me control that more. Plug a map node in there, switch it to multiply, and bring it down to like 0.1 or maybe 0.2. And you can just about make out that the veins are sticking out over the top. And that's how you get quite a nice slimy, fleshy, um, material look and yeah you know just mess around with the colors until you find something that you like the size of the Voronoi or the noise um, will adjust like the fleshy bits and yeah up here you've got your veins and I guess you could call them capillaries but there you go that looks quite disgusting if you found that useful please drop a like if not please let me know why thanks very much